Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. So in this video we are going to see and how we can create a Wi-Fi QR using Python. So now first of all, why to create a Wi-Fi QR? Okay, so let's say if we have cafe, okay, or if we are working in offices or in our homes also. If suppose someone is coming or customers are coming and they are asking for the Wi-Fi passwords. So then you can easily show them this, this QR and then by uh, scanning the QR, they will be easily accessing the Wi-Fi. So for that purpose, you can easily generate a Wi-Fi QR using Python. Okay. Mm -hmm. So now let's get start with our code. So first of all, you can see I have some code snippets. Okay. So the first cell, as you can see in my Jupyter notebook, that is for the installing. Okay, so there is especially a module in Python which is used to create Wi-Fi QR codes. Okay, so using the pip, so pip install Wi-Fi dash QR code dash generator, and then you have to run this cell. So when you'll run this cell, it will take few seconds. Okay, based on the connection of your Wi-Fi speed, and then it will return you. So in my case, it it is already installed, so it will give you that already exist. In your case, it will, you can see it is requirement already satisfied. In your case, it will take some installation and it will show you that successfully install. Okay. Now let's come to the main code. That is, first of all, we have imported this library as you can see from Wi-Fi underscore QR code underscore generator. We are importing this function Wi-Fi underscore QR code. Okay. Then we are creating an object in the second line and in that object, we are using our function your Wi-Fi underscore QR code, which we have imported just now. And this function takes few parameters. Okay. So first it takes the name. Okay. It takes the name of your Wi-Fi. Then hidden. Hidden means here that uh, your network is hidden or not. Sometimes what happens your uh, some networks are especially means they have been specially designed for hidden networks okay they are also called as hidden networks so if your network is hidden so you can make it true so our network is not hidden so we are just making it false then authentication underscore type okay now what is this authentication underscore type now if you have wi-fi in your smartphone so you can go in the settings of that wi-fi you will see uh security type so that is this authentication type that means that which security type your wi-fi is using so mo in most of the cases it is wpa in most of the wi-fi it is wpa or wpa2 personal so okay so we have written wpa because we know that our authentication our wi-fi authentication, uh, authentication type is wpa then at last it takes the password so you can give the wi-fi password okay mm -hmm. then in the third line we are taking one more object and in that object using this qr underscore code Okay, the object in which our uh, Wi-Fi QR has been stored on that uh, object, we are applying the make underscore image method. Okay, now why we are applying this make underscore image method? Because our object Q QR underscore code has the data. Okay, now this data is not in visual reading format, means visually representation format. Okay, or you can simply say in image so to convert that data into image we have used this make underscore image method okay so now this line is going to take this data which has been stored in our object q underscore code and convert it into a visual representation such as image and then that image is going to store in this object and then using this object we are using the save method and we are saving on this path okay so now let's execute this cell okay so now this cell has been executed successfully now let's go to that path okay now you can see this is our path okay and here our scanner has been created okay this is our scanner now let's move back and there is for more code okay i have written here that is for viewing your qr code just here okay in your jupyter notebook so for that as you can see i have imported our qr code generator now because we have successfully installed it so we are just directly importing it okay and now you can see we are not importing a specific method qr underscore code we are importing the library directly okay as qr as a short name as a alias name qr then 
for processing with the image we are uh, importing from pill we are importing the image okay to do some operations on our image and then for displaying purpose okay to display in our jupyter notebook we are using the uh, library ipython.display from that we are going to use the display method okay now for uh for giving the parameters what we have done here we have taken three variables ssid password and encryption and then we will just directly going to put that inside the wi-fi underscore qr code okay so now so first of all uh again we are creating an object qr underscore code then using the library qr okay now here because we have directly imported the method so we don't need to write the library but because here we have just imported the library so we have to specify the library and then using the dot operator you have to specify the function name so you uh, wi-fi underscore qr code is our method name then ssid what is this ssid so this ssid is the service set identifier now what do you mean by the service set identifier it means the name simply you can say the name of your wi-fi so let's say my name of the wi-fi is this and my password is this and i'm using the encryption wpa okay so now let's put those value here so in my wi-fi underscore qr code method i am going to put my name okay then hidden hidden equals false okay because my network is not hidden then encryption that what type of encryption it is uh it is using so encryption in that we have wpa and then the password okay then again we are using the same make image to convert our data which has in the qr underscore code in a uh, proper image format and then we are specifying our path explicitly then using the save method we are saving our means we are just writing the path here okay and then now you will see i have used the display method which we have imported from the ipython.display library and then we are just putting our q underscore code image directly here and let's just do what let's just execute the cell so now you can see you can scan this code and when you will scan this code you will get uh so if you are in that coverage of the network then you will easily get connected to the the wi-fi okay so this is how using the display method you can display in the jupyter notebook okay you can display the qr in directly in jupyter notebook now the same code i've written again but but now uh, if you want to show in the image viewer means here we have used the display method to show it in the jupyter notebook now if you want to show that particular qr using the image viewer so then you can use the method show okay so first of all for that method show you have to open that method okay so using the image you will open that method okay then you will specify the path of that image and then you will can use the show method to show the image so let's me do what let me execute this cell also so you can see here the image has been opened okay in the image viewer of the windows so this is how there was three ways in which you can just create the qr code and read it also so i hope you like this video so stay tuned and now if you'll see our path where we have installed or uh, where we have saved all the three qrs so you can see we have saved it okay in our path and you have all the three wi-fi underscore qr code then qr code one and then qr code two so now i hope you like this video and find it very interesting and it will be very useful for you guys so thanks for watching the video we'll see you in the